Is this your mess? Whose mess is this? Mommy. <gasps> I am not strong enough. Oh my gosh. Since this is the nastiest thing ever, I had to bring in backup. Just watch me break in. Hello and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, I am Brandy, and today we are pretty much pulling my bathroom apart. It needs to be super deep cleaned. My shower drain is disgusting. I know it. I can see. I can see stuff. So we need to take care of that and then I'm going to be pulling everything out of our, the air just kicked on. <laughs> I'm going to be pulling everything out of our linen closet right here in our bathroom and both cabinets. So what is happening is that the stuff that I use every day gets left on the counter because it is so hard to put away what I actually use because things that I don't use are taking up all of the space. So let's go ahead and jump right into today's video because I have a lot of work to get done. Oh, you know, just a sanding block. <laughs> Woo I'm excited about this, though. Kenzie! Did you make this mess? Are you looking for your stuff? <laughs> is this your mess? Whose mess is this? Mommy. <gasps> oh, I guess I deserve that. We are going to kick off this bathroom clean with me with picking out the products we're going to be using today. And then I'm going to quickly clean up the bathroom floor. That way I can head to the laundry room, get a load of laundry going, and then that will be working while I'm working. So it's kind of like multitasking without actually having to give all of your attention to something else. Because let's be real, I get distracted very easily. I've mentioned this in another video, but I don't think I've actually showed the spot on the wall. You all know by now my struggle with the paint in this house, and that is from fabric softener. I apparently tried to wipe a little too hard, and I want to say it was within like the first few days of us moving into this house that I rubbed the paint right off the wall. I thought that we had something special. I thought I handled this so well. I know we had the right intentions, but somehow it came to an end. I was looking for a remedy. As I was cleaning out this little linen closet, I was like, you know what? I should probably start in the shower first. That way I can give all of the cleaning products time to work. So that is why we just cleaned out a little bit of the linen closet, but now we're jumping into the shower. I'm going to take this drain cap off and you can see like a dark shadow. So I knew it was going to be gross. And this honestly didn't even end up being the grossest part of this shower. I am still traumatized, you guys, and you'll see what I'm talking about in a little bit. Since this is a foam based cleaner, I'm going to go ahead and take my scrub daddy and just move the cleaner all over the floor and the walls. That way everything can be soaking for as long as possible. And this is kind of where everything went downhill. You'll notice in a second that I catch a glimpse of grossness under the shower wall right there. I hadn't noticed it at this point. I don't notice it until maybe a few more seconds. And you guys, everything just kind of went downhill 
from there. This is the first time I've probably really deep cleaned this shower. We moved into this house in October. And yes, I wiped the walls down, but I don't, I don't have this angle every day. And I do know we have a ventilation issue with the shower and it is very hard to keep the door open after showers because it butts up to our bathroom door. So you'll actually see a mark on the back of the bathroom door. So I know the previous owner had an issue with this too. It's just a horrible placement for a shower. This is not strong enough. I am not strong enough. Oh my gosh. Do you guys see what I mean by everything just kind of went downhill? This part was so gross. This was definitely the grossest part of the entire shower, and I'm sure it has never been cleaned before. This house was built in 2020, so it's probably a good few years worth of buildup. So now that I know that it's there and I know that it needs to be cleaned, it definitely makes me feel better, but still. I've actually thought about taking the shower doors off. That way it can just breathe better after showers. But then I go back to when we lived in our last house before we renovated the shower. We had probably that same size shower and we had the curtain and I definitely prefer the door. So I'm just going to have to figure out how to get a little bit more airflow to that shower and maybe get the kids to help squeegee the door. I just, I got to come up with something. While the cleaning products are doing their thing in the shower, we are going to start emptying out this linen closet. I am so grateful for this closet, but I don't feel like I'm utilizing it to its full potential. And it's kind of an odd area. Like you have a bunch of space in front of the shelves, but then the shelves are super narrow. So not much fits on them. I don't know, but you'll see that there is a lot of trial and error that goes on in today's organization part. And we've lived in a lot of different spaces over this past year. Even in our last house, though, we didn't have any extra closets. I had like a super tiny linen closet for the entire house, and it was maybe like 12 inches wide. So you'll see here that I'm just kind of playing with the space. I have this cart from when we were in the camper, and our original plan was to build a house and we weren't gonna have a basement, but we were going to have a guest room. So I was going to have that cart all cute in the guest room. And now we have a basement and I'm trying to use what I have. So it's just all a hot mess and lucky you, I'm bringing you along for the ride. Today's decluttering portion of the video, there really isn't that much to declutter. If you think about it, I have touched this stuff so many times over the past year. So at this point, it's almost just maintenance. Decluttering really is a lifelong process. It's not a one and done deal. Stuff is always coming into your house and stuff always needs to be going out of your house. You can only bring in so much stuff before it can't fit anymore, and that is just kind of what happened today. So this whole process could probably take me at this point 45 minutes, and when I moved out of my last house, it probably took me days to declutter my bathroom. I had garbage bags full of stuff. So once you get that huge purge out of the way, it really is just maintenance and little touch-ups here and there. Okay, I think I'm gonna put that shelf back in. I believe I may have lost too much storage space and there's still a good, what, like over a foot of space in front of that shelf. So I think I'm just gonna put that cart right in front of the shelf. So let's try that because this made me give up a lot of space. <laughs>
my battery died and I'm so sorry. I am all over the place today and the lighting in here is not good, so bear with me. But my battery died, so while I went to switch out the batteries, I was like, what can I use for my everyday items? I want to get them off the counter, I think. I'm not sure. I might end up actually moving my like night routine skincare back up onto the counter, but for now we're going to try off the counter. So I went to my pantry. <laughs> My poor pantry is going to be empty by the end of this video, but it's okay. I'll do a Target pickup and it'll, it will be like it never happened. <laughs> um, and then I have this stashed in my closet from when I redid my pantry. This didn't fit. So I think I'm actually going to put Mackenzie's like nighttime mouthwash, all her cups, things like that into this one because that white bin is just too big. And then all my nightly things will go in here. That way I can see exactly what is in the bin and I'm not guessing or I'm not forgetting. I don't know, let's just at least try it. This is my nightly face wash. Let's just grab all this. Ah. And then we'll grab, love this stuff. And then let's see, this. I use this all the time. There it is. We go to the jersey your eyes say i'll be worried you said he was nothing but i know you get buried the sorrow of us the sorrow of us how did we end up here we used to laugh so hard when did we stop loving baby This bin on the left had all of Mackenzie's headbands in it and she doesn't wear headbands on a daily basis. They don't stay on her head, so she really never wears them. So I thought I would go ahead and put my tanning stuff in here. And I'm kind of thinking that this would probably be best in the linen closet because I only use it maybe every week or two. So I'm still trying to think about the best use for this basket. I'm kind of thinking brushes and things like that that I need to grab because right now those are in the bin above it. But I keep Mackenzie's bows downstairs for when I get her ready in the morning. So I just moved her headbands out of here. One area that I really struggle with organizing is makeup. I would love to have a fancy drawer full of organizers with all of my brushes and creams and powders and it all just be beautiful and organized, but that is not reality for me. And we go on a lot of trips. So even before we moved up to Georgia, we camped a lot. So it was just so much easier having my makeup in a bag ready to go. I saw this at TJ Maxx and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try this. It has the perfect little makeup bag part at the bottom and then it has little organizers that I can use for brushes, mascara, and things like that. So it keeps things organized but it keeps them separated at the same time and I can just grab it and go. And then to add to that, I am very drawn to black. I love black, I love gold, 
black and gold together. It's just the perfect combination. And I get all of my cosmetic bags in black. But if you think about it, my countertop is white with gray marbling. So I didn't want things to clash. I'm really working on trying to buy things that fit my space better. And just because I absolutely love black and gold, it doesn't necessarily look great on my countertop and it just makes things look way more cluttered. And I can definitely say I am loving having this makeup bag match my countertop because when I do leave it out on the counter, it's not such an eyesore. We are going to go ahead and finish straightening up Michael's cabinet. I keep our cleaning supplies down there just because he's very low maintenance. So we have our toothbrushes in that top drawer and then his contact solution and lenses in the middle one along with his razors and beer trimmers in that bottom drawer. And I absolutely love these drawers. I have used them for so many different things and I got them on Amazon. I will try and find them and I will link them in the description box below. I'm thinking you were made for me. Isn't it my birthday yet? Cause I gotta say you're looking like a gift for me. Wrapped up nice and neat, baby. content guys okay look at this I mean something's working What is that thing? 
Yo, I don't know what that is. That was not supposed to happen. Oh my gosh. Maybe not. Maybe it just stays there. Who knows? <laughs> how I'm getting that back in there, but I don't even care. Oh my goodness. I have no words. I am literally speechless when it comes to that like rubber seal thing. I ended up spraying it down with Tylex. I don't think I filmed that part, but I could not get this door frame to run clear. Chunks just kept coming out. I'm I'm still a little traumatized by that experience, but it's okay. We're going to move on. And the Tylex didn't do as good on the floor as I would have hoped it would have. So I am pulling out my pink stuff and that along with bringing the drill back out worked perfectly. So next time I'll probably just go straight to the pink stuff. I do also want to try the Dawn and Vinegar mixture. I'm trying to use up that bottle of CLR though. So I will definitely be trying out a few other methods to getting the shower floor clean. Wish you the best to say goodbye You start to get dressed and then we cry Cause we both know it's gonna hurt But not as much as this done It's a sad day when you can see the bottom of your pink stuff container So I'm gonna go ahead and just leave that one inside the shower I don't usually double dip into my pink stuff container So this one will stay in the shower And then I will grab a new container for down in the kitchen <laughs> Sitting on the front porch, sipping on the rocks Citrus in our beverages Citrus in our beverages Show only the good sides Always pretty smiles are covering our faces You know it is all lies You know it is all lies On and on and on it goes Round and round the rodeo Breathing out air for a minute Taking my time to begin with On and on and on 
We have been battling strep for weeks, so I'm going to go ahead and give everything a really good wipe down with disinfectant wipes. I don't typically use disinfecting wipes on the countertops when I clean, but today we are doing just that. Why don't we all calm down? Why don't we all calm down? I think I'm the wrong size. Not enough room for every. We are getting there, guys. And I know this looks like a hot mess, but everything has a home now. So it's going to be super easy to just put the cleaning supplies away. Those extra brushes are going to go to my laundry room closet. And then I just have some odds and ends. Everything in the sink is going into the shower. So let's finish wiping some stuff down so that we can finish with our bathtub and then vacuum and mop. We are almost to the end and this has taken me hours. This literally <laughs> took hours to do, but it feels so good to have this bathroom organized, decluttered, cleaned, not even cleaned, but deep, deep, deep cleaned. And take all of the brushes that I used today and spray them with Tylex while I spray the entire tub. Typically, I would not be using Tylex to clean my bathtub, but with all of the germs we've had going on in this house, everything's getting a good bleaching. Hello, how'd you do? I'm not broken, I'm just split into. Hope you're fine. 
Ain't got time to do everything you said you would Frames of the past and the memory of you just come running by Pictures of sunny days with your smile and the power How could they say I was broken? How could they say you made me come undone? Now I know that it's okay Unlike my friends, you are nothing like them oh. How could they say I was broken? How could they say you made me come undone? Now I know that it's okay Unlike my friends, you are nothing like them Try to be cool even wear that shirt you wanted to My friends think I'm lame Since I met you I am not the same It was not meant to Be a fairy tale with a happy end Girl you take care now I hope we can be friends How could they say I was broken? How could they say you made me come undone? Now I know that it's okay Unlike my friends, you are nothing like them oh. How could they say I was broken? How could they say you made me come undone? Now I know that it's okay Unlike my friends I'm looking like a train wreck. I'm sorry you guys had to look at this. All right, that is going to be it for, I guess, tonight's video. That took way longer than I ever could have imagined, but that shower just threw everything off. That was a doozy. I am so happy to have this bathroom done, and the best part is that everything has a home. I got rid of a bunch of storage containers that I don't need anymore. It is just so much more functional in here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give this video a, a thumbs up. I will see you all in my next one. Bye. I gotta go help the kids now. They're fighting over cookie dough. Question. Okay, you guys have to answer this in the comments because the people who are still here are like my ride and die. So, ready? When you buy a package of cookie dough, and yes, it's safe to eat the dough now. So imagine the, the package says safe to eat the cookie dough. When you buy a package of cookie dough, do you eat some of the dough before you make the cookies? Scotty just stole a package of cookies out of the refrigerator and Madison was chasing, well, Madison and I were chasing him down because he does not want any of the dough to be eaten beforehand. And we're like, no, we buy the cookie dough to eat the dough. So let me know in the comments down below to help settle this great debate. All right, I will see you guys next week. Bye. <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? Because I just told him they had to look at me like I'm a train wreck or look at me while I look like a train wreck. Choo choo! Choo 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 me at a cause where you go is where I go I don't need nobody else I got you and you got me too you can ride out of the blue I wanna do what you want to Yeah, gotta... There's not like three other bathrooms in this house. You're gonna take a leak, right? With my people? Well, I just wanted to be in the view.